Hello everyone, in this video I'll talk about how to create custom skip to REST API. Go to left navigator, type scripted REST. Under system web services application, you will see skip to REST APIs module. Click on this module. Skip to REST API was introduced in Geneva release. Click on new button. A requirement is to retrieve the incident ticket details from the service now instance. So for this we are creating custom skip rest API. Give the name as get incident details. You will see that API ID is auto populated. As per your requirement, you can modify this API ID, but for now, I am keeping it as it is. Click on Submit button. You will see that a default ASL has been created for your Skip your REST API. Give description as to get incident details under short description field and update your skip to rest API. Now we will create resources. Click on new button. Give name as incident details. And select method as get because as per the requirement we have to retrieve the information from service now instance so to retrieve the information we will use get method post method is used when you want to create a record put and patch method is used to update a record and delete method is used to delete the record now I'll select method as get I'll pass parameter as number here on the basis of this number we will fetch all the incident details request and response these are objects now I'll write skip include to fetch the incident ticket details on the basis of number we have defined in relative path field so for this I'm writing code as return I'm defining skip include as new get incident details dot get details this is the name of my skip include and this is the method we have defined in this skip include and here I'll pass parameter as request object dot path params as variable dot number as parameter which we have defined here it should be the same number syntax should be same you can copy it and paste it here when I was passing parameter in this function when I have seen different variables like request dot query params query string query string is used when you are using entire query string which is coming in the requested URI like this if in URI this string is present and you want to use entire string in your code so you will use request.query string but if you want to use the parameter from this query so you will use request dot query parents dot active so it will give value as true here and if you will use request dot query parents dot priority then it will give you value as one here so this is the way we can use query string in query parents 
query params is these parameters from the query and query string is entire query which is coming in the request URI. Click on submit button. Now I will create skipping. Copy this name. Click on new button. Paste it here. Here I will write the function which I have defined here. This is the function which I am using to fetch the incident ticket details. So here I am have created an array and I am pushing incident number, state, value, short description value, assignment group value. And click on submit button. Now I will use REST API Explorer, click on REST API Explorer module under System Web Services application. Click on Explore button, open your scripted REST API. which you have created just now. See the base API path for your scripted REST services which is this is the namespace and this is the API. Open the same namespace here 203212 which is defined in your scripted REST API and select the API ID as this. This is my API ID and select the API version and latest. As we define only the function get here, so it will come here. Now here I'll pass incident number, which we have defined in the relative path. Let me open the incident paper. Copy this incident number, paste it here and click on send button. You will see the success message and you will see the details of this incident ticket. New is the state, this is the description and this is assignment group. So go back to incident table. For this incident, there is no assignment group is defined, so it is coming as empty. State is new, and this is a short description. This is the way how we use Skip to REST API. Please keep this in your mind that REST API Explorer is used for current instance. So I am using this instance, so REST API Explorer will work for this instance. If you want to test this functionality, then you can use REST client app or you can say tool on Firefox and Postman tool or app on Chrome browser. As of now I am using Chrome browser so I will show you how can we test the same functionality with the help of Postman tool. This is Postman tool. Here I will select the method which I want to select. For now I am selecting get matter. Here I will pass URL or you can say URI which you are seeing here. Here I select authorization as basic authorization updating password information so that I can get access on this instance from Postman tool. I have updated the password. header I'll select content type as application JSON. 
and click on save button click on send button then after you will get all the information of this ticket from this instance so it is new short description is this as a signing group is empty so no signing group is coming this is the way we can use postman tool to test this script to rest api functionality please keep this in the mind that don't give fully admin access to test the functionality so for this create a user in your instance it can be of any user id just provide web server admin role to the user i only have given web service admin role to this user and use this user credential to access this functionality and i'm changing password as this Now I'm giving incident number as fifty eight, and click on send button. Yeah, I'm getting all the details of this incident number with this user account. Thank you for watching this video. Please share and subscribe to my YouTube channel.